Good evening, everybody. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Tony Stefano. Um, I'm a local inventor in Zimbabwe. And um, I would like to introduce you to a product that I have been working on for the past uh, 20 years of my life. Eventually, <laughs> we have come to grants of patents. And let me introduce you to some of this that I have, to all of them, in fact, that I have. Um, an American patent. Uh, it was pending and now it is granted, a granted patent. Um, a Canadian patent, pending and granted. Um, a European patent, granted. An Australian patent, pending and granted. The Aripo patent, which covers the SADC region in, Af in Southern Africa, basically the whole of Southern Africa, granted. The uh, a separate uh, South African patent, pending and granted, certification. Um, Hong Kong, pending and granted. And of course, China granted for what is worth. Um, in regards to China um, and the actual patents that I have, uh, which should uh, help me um, manufacture, because all my manufacturing is actually done in China. We have uh, seven different factories in China whereby they do the manufacturing from the bags to the whole product uh, which we control, we do all the quality control for the product and uh, we have actually manufactured a, a quality product in China that we are hoping to launch in all these countries that you have seen on the patents. And let me start with uh, introducing you to the actual patent itself. As you have seen, the product comes in a bag with wheels on it, which makes it easier to lug around uh, wherever you go. The actual space of the actual vehicle, uh, of the actual bag itself, is what you have seen here, this size, and that's all it will take in the back of your car, the boot of your car, if you're travelling, or it could just fit under your sink in your kitchen. But let's have some fun with the actual product itself. The bra. Comes with a stand which I will assemble for you quickly, as quick as I can. Very easy to put together, and as you can see, it all clips into place. Nothing hard to actually do. Um, Itself. It comes with an uh, actual stabil uh, stabilizer. Which takes a little bit of time to put together if you bear with me. This is where the fly nuts that we, we use, which fit in here, and we screw it onto the stabilizer. Basically, three wind nuts, as we call them, or butterfly screws, which fit onto the stabilizer itself and gives the stand itself the rigidness it requires to hold uh, the bro when you are camping or as you want it. So, as you can see, it's quite solid. Right. 
Um, let's move it on here. Now, let's have fun with the actual product itself. As you can see, it is made out of solid stainless steel. Um, uh, the name Brill I have come up with because I always thought it's brilliant and it can grow. Um, that's why we came up with Brill. Um, in in, in uh, overseas countries like uh, Europe, uh, etc., they like calling it the Brill Grow. Uh, those are names that we are registering, uh, we registered and we're registering and uh, we hope to get everything in order. Um, and the product itself, um, as you can see, it fits exactly into the actual stand itself um, for safety. Um, it comes with a two meter pipe and um, a regulator which fit exactly onto the bra. This regulator here is where you adjust your actual flame itself. This is the pipe with the clip. It comes with a couple of clips. One goes onto here and then onto your gas bottle where you regulate your gas. So now, let's put that aside for now and let's go through the functions of the actual probe itself. Okay. As you can see, all the parts fit within the actual product itself. That is why it's so compact. And let's go through all the, the actual functions that it can do for you. Right, function number one. As a normal little stove, basically um, you turn it up the flame comes through here, you can put any pot you like on here and heat it up or a big kettle, heat up for water, wherever you are, you'll have, you know, you can just use any other pot on the actual stove. It's basically a single eye stove. Okay, function number one. Function number two, the product itself comes with this heavy based um, pot, quite large as you can see, solid stainless steel um, of first grade uh, stainless um, and in this position here the bro becomes a front pan. You can fry your bacon, your eggs, anything that you like but because it comes with this lid you can, it makes wonderful stews or curries with it because caps like that and by turning down your heat cook slowly like a slow a slow cooker um, but we want that's basically function number two okay now front basket as a fryer you may fry your chips or chicken or fish, anything you like. That fits exactly in here. Okay, there you are. Um, the frying pan is obviously you put in your oil down here and you have your chips or your whatever you're frying in there. And obviously, we are dealing with hot oils, so it comes with the actual handles themselves. When it's nice and hot, you lift this up, you shake well, and you put it onto your newspaper and your chips or your whatever you have fried, it's all in there. Okay? So function number three as a fry as a fryer. Okay? Um, Function number four, as you can see, 
you have your water in here, um, in there. You place this one here. And let's do it. Let's do it this way. Then we have these cups. Put them on here. Basically, poaching cups. As you already can see, you can do up to ten poached eggs at a time. Or you can make baby steam puddings with it um, by just capturing the heat and the steam in this position here. Here's your your poacher. Okay. Function number four. Let's remove the mark. We come aside. For the sake of convenience for now. And we have the disc that fits on here. Okay. And we have the separator that fits like this. And of course, we'll have your carrots, your broccoli, your cauliflower, and your matchitudes, I suppose. And it becomes from a poacher into a steamer. This is a patent within a patent, really, because I've registered it. <laughs> and uh, this is function number five as a steamer. Right, this is up. Right. This is a function that is not really commonly used in Africa, but we do use it quite a lot, but very widely used um, overseas in, in, in America and in the, uh, and Canada uh, and Europe a lot. Now what happens here is that you amber your, your, your wood uh, and you fit it over here. That goes on top here. Then you have your sausages or your chicken or your fish or your meat, anything that you like to actually smoke and it becomes a smoker and this way is a smoker okay function number six function number seven say you have cooked uh, say you have cooked a wonderful uh, curry or a stew, okay, um, and your food is getting cold and you want to keep it nice and warm. Everything comes out, you put it all in here, all the food in here, you wash it nicely and then you put a bit of water in here and big stainless steel cleans up quite easily. All the food is in here and it becomes automatically a bed marie or otherwise known as a food warmer. There's your food warmer. Right. Function number seven. Function number eight is a function that we use often in my house as well as in, in Zimbabwe and that and around Africa. And basically, this function is a, a very common social kind of function. It's called the fondue, as you already realize, see me with the fondue forks. Um, color coded quality forks, everything stainless steel, um, and this particular one can do five people quite easily. And the beauty of this fondue is that when you put your meat on here, it goes on top of this ridge with your oil, your oil is up here, and it's hot and then you regulate your heat from here. So if it gets cold, you don't have to run with the, the dish to the kitchen to actually heat it up and bring it back to the, to the table with a little burner underneath. What you do, this whole thing is actually sits on the table and you heat it in position. So if your oil gets cold, you can heat it and it gets nice and hot. And if it gets too hot, you can always turn it down. So you do it in position. You don't miss out on the party in any way. And uh, at the same time, um, you entertain your guests there and then, and as a fondue. Function number eight. Function number nine. This is what makes this product a patent product, 
and so interchangeable and unique. Because what happens is that by doing this, this is where the flame comes, and a, a naked flame burns. Um, radiant heat grows, right? So by doing this, the flames heat up the stainless steel dome. In this way, you get your radiant heat. And by doing this, it becomes a griller. So you can have your flat chicken in there, or your steak, or your fish, anything you like. And by doing that, give it five minutes, it does a chicken in 25 minutes, 1.2 kg chicken in 25 minutes. Your steak in about 10 minutes, your fish in about seven minutes. Um, you regulate your heat on here, of course. And as you know, when you're enclosing a flame, it tends to go out. That is because you're starving it from oxygen. So that is why we have the holes in here. So you regulate the amount of air or oxygen that goes in here. So if you're outside grilling, for example, and you've got heavy wind, it will blow out your flame. So you can regulate it here so it doesn't get too much wind. Or if it's too little, you can always open it out where you get the right amount of oxygen in so your flame does not go out. And in this way here, you are grilling. And that's your grill. Function number nine. Right. Let's move them around a bit. Okay. Function number ten. You have, as you can see, a Chinese wok. Chinese wok or what we call in Africa a squattle bright or a barbecue using a squattle. And as you can see, it fits exactly on here. And the handles, you can use your, you know, to do your stir fry in Zimbabwe or in Africa, and that or what we use here, uh, we can do uh, olive oil, garlic, and, and, and prawns, um, you know, out, outdoor living kind of thing. Or you can have your round steak, uh, um, with all your olive oil and garlic and then finishing it off with uh, wine, a fillet steak uh, or you can uh, you can do your chicken, anything you like uh, basically as a squattle fry or as a, a Chinese wok to do uh, stir fries and this is function number 10 and I'm very proud to say the first product in the world to actually do 10 functions in one but there's more to this Yes, this is out for the outdoor living. You might say, what is the actual market that you're going for? And my market's basically, yes, so far, you can see the outdoor living, the caravanners, the campers, um, people with small flats that haven't got big areas to work in, um, scholars, university students with small kitchens, something that they want to do quickly and get it over and done with, but they have all the functions and everything fits under their, their sink. Uh, in a little bag like that. Um, so basically, the market we are looking at is basically everybody, including hotels, B&Bs, um, and things like that. Uh, hotels, how the hotels could use this is by maybe purchasing five, seven of the of, of the brills, um, putting them all together, and um, using the actual functions to cook for the guests. Or they make wonderful, because it's made out of stainless steel and it is presentable, uh, you can have all the bamaries, seven bamaries together with different foods within, uh, serving your clientele, your clients, the different foods. And you can channel the piping so you can run off one bottle and you've got all the different foods for the hotel industry. Um, I mean, even, even a seven star hotel can present their foods in, in this product, and it, they will be proud to do so because the stainless steel is of quality. One thing that we must never forget is that this particular product, it's not just using the broth, because nobody stops you, for example, to use this pot to do your curries or your stews, onto your actual stove of your house. You can use that, uh, this function for example, to on your own stove. Or you can use, uh, for example, the, um, 
No one can stop you using the, the chip fryer, for example, onto your own stove at home. Or you can use the poacher or the, or, or the, or, or, or the, uh, the steamer. For, for example, you can use the steamer onto your own stove or the smoker on your... So, yes, you're buying this product for outgoing or for, for camping or whatever, or whatever, but if you need... Uh, the steamer or the poacher or the chip fryer uh, or, or even the smoker those functions you can use the actual product itself onto your own stove anytime you want so basically there you have it uh, I must mention the two other functions that this uh, product has as well and basically um, if you can zoom over the side uh, this part here is removable for obviously easy cleaning uh, this comes out the dome comes out and you can wipe and clean or even use by removing your regulator you can always put it into your machine to clean uh, the, the product but for convenience for the campus we have uh, as, a, as, addition, as a, an additional service uh, once you finish cooking, well, when you're camping or you're caravanning, you can always uh, fit a, a, a gas lamp that fits onto this fitting here. And then it gives you a lighting, a lighting device which gives you lighting in your camp site, uh, which helps a lot at night. Um, and why we do that is that the actual size of the lamp itself fits into the actual bag without any problem at all. Um, and that's giving it another another function. And also, um, in the uh, apparently people in uh, Canada uh, and all sorts of places around the world love going camping during the winter uh, months. And and um, um, what we have is a, a gas heater, which actually screws onto this device as well. And you can heat up your caravan, and you'll have a nice uh, warm environment. Uh, to sleep um, at night and which also fits into the bag so you'll have all the uh, the cooking functions that you want but it also gives you you can have the lighting and you can have also the heating uh, if you require it and why why are we doing that uh, it's not a, they're not cooking functions but they are functions that we think that uh, they're optional functions if you want them you can those are optional there will be an additional small cost for the lighting device and the heating device as you like and everything quite easily um, put together and that's it okay um, one more thing about the brawl is that uh, we have manufactured the brawl so far, this the one I've been displaying for you is the gas version. Um, but we also, this is the gas version. We also have the um, electrical version as well. For those who would like to use it more uh, for domestic use, um, where that fits like this. And obviously, it does all the functions exactly the same way. And this is the, instead of having a gas fitting, you've got an electrical element. And basically, this is the, the electrical version, whereby you fit your ceramic plug, and it goes onto there with a, with a regulating thermostat, that uh, regulator onto the actual plug. And this is the the electrical version. Um, the brawl itself, according to the patents, may be heated by any known heating substance. So we can use electricity, may be heated by gas, may be heated by um, anything that's known. Uh, even if you can have power paraffin or even pressurized uh, uh, ethanol uh, or ethanol itself, if you can use it, you may use it. It, it may be heated by any known heating substance. 
Uh, the size, it may be any size, any shape. And that gives us the advantage of changing in time according to fashion and how people, what people like. Um, and basically, I've covered most of the stuff that I'd like to show you uh, about my product. I thank you for listening and uh, goodbye. Thank you very much.